Good day, how's it going? Let's take a look at the Master Grade Master Gundam from 2002. This is the second kit released from the Fighting Action line, and the last one I built of the four. I'm happy I saved this one for last, and we'll get into that right now, starting off by talking about the build. So you get ready, open the instructions, start on page 5 with the right arm, and a few pieces in is when the teardrops start, fella. Mold lines and nasty nubs. The Master Gundam has undergating, but not for the pieces that truly need it the most. There are noticeable nubs on the shoulders and unsightly mold lines on four of these dark blue parts. This is not pretty, but we can make it work. Firstly, we want to be very careful removing the nubs on the shoulders. Make some snips as close as you can get without damaging the plastic. I use my hobby knife to take off the rest. Sometimes it looks good, but it's difficult to not leave a discolored spot. Now for the mold lines, there is actually a very easy fix. I went with my god hand sanding sponges that had already been worn down a bit, and I just went all around the piece. Not too rough, and I was carefully holding it as to not leave any stress marks on the plastic. The shoulders are circular, so the sponge will do perfect as it won't misshape them or cause any issues. I polished it up with this cheap nail buffer, and it was looking a lot better. Now, between the two parts for the shoulder, there is a line that would look good painted. I didn't want to put it together and then have to take it apart later, so I just put the paint on first. This is one of those, do my best but rely on a q-tip and rubbing alcohol to finish the job later. The ankle guards are all in one piece, but as a result there is a bar to cut off inside that will leave two nub marks. I just cut them as flat as I could and left them, it's no big deal. There were a few oddities like that which make the Master Gundam more involved build than the other G kits. Having a bit more experience will help a lot to make sure you end up with a good looking final product. I ended up painting black on the wings because it looked very lacking. I used the stickers for the yellow after my painting failed. I prefer not to use color correcting stickers, but for this area it looks pretty good. This kit was in dire need of top coat due to the shine of the plastic. I went with the super smooth again, and at first it was really frosted and ugly, but with a second coat it saved the day, and now we have the finished model. Any doubts I had about this guy were erased once I put it together. This is a great looking kit with a unique appearance. It is solid proportions, and I can't get over how awesome that Rita Repulsa head looks. That red is absolutely poppin' here, and it's in all the right places. The dark blue and purple also look excellent. It's not a very dark shade of blue, and some people might prefer to see it painted black, but it works for me. The white face also really stands out. Color separation is rather good. All that's missing is the yellow stripes on the wings that I already talked about. I highly recommend putting black paint in all the circles on the kit to add extra definition. Otherwise, this guy is looking pretty good right out of the box. There are some notable seam lines, however. The spikes on the feet, the top of the head, and the back of the arms have it the worst. There is one running down the side of the leg, which sort of blends into the design. While the Master doesn't need as much painting as the God and Shining Gundams, there is more to do if you want to fix the seam and mold lines here. The wings are made of mostly big pieces, and they won't open up and wrap around the body like in the anime, but otherwise, they're pretty cool. So the Master Gundam does have some other gimmicks, so let's see what he can do. We got a lot of hands for different poses, nice clear red hands for the darkness finger, a clear hand for the God Gundam kit is included to reenact some anime scenes. We have his master cloth thing, and also the arms can extend. A wire is included so he can shoot his arms off as well. This looks like he's trying to shake someone's hand that's really far away or something, I don't know. Like the other master grades from this line, you get a big size pilot figure. I had sort of a primer meltdown with this Master Asia, so I'm gonna fix that later and paint him up properly. So this Master Gundam is a nice kit. It does have some flaws, but the final product is so great, and it looks really awesome next to the other G Gundam kits. I would recommend this to a builder who has made a few other kits and is ready for some of the challenges this guy presents. There are high grades for the Master, Shining, and God Gundams, as well as the Noble Gundam, if you prefer that scale and appearance. The Master Gundam also comes with Funsaiki, which is naturally a great bonus. 
but I'm happy with how this kit is. It looks really great and it's a unique one in my collection. That's all I gotta say in this video. Tune in and maybe I'll make more.